Uh, I'm Joe Williams. I work for Bureau Hapold as an associate engineer on the MEP team here in LA. We're here at the Academy Museum project and um, just doing one of our regular site updates to check progress. So there's been many aspects to the mechanical design of the building. The critical zones and the control around gallery spaces and, and spaces that are holding critical artefacts. Another big aspect has been the coordination of the project. So it's been a real meticulous coordination in how everything looks and how it's coordinated with the architecture. The building in general, a lot of the mechanical services and other services are exposed. So you'll notice in the gallery you've got exposed services over your head and there's a general aesthetic to try and um, show off the machine and how it's working. Here we're on top of the spine, which is the large vertical circulation space. And these fans, there's seven of them, um, totaling 240,000 CFM of airflow. They're being used as smoke evacuation in the event of a fire. So we're on the rooftop of the Saban building and this is where a lot of our mechanical equipment is located. This is the refrigeration room, so we've got two 300 tonne chillers here. Um, but the bit I wanted to show you was the 100 tonne heat recovery chiller. Um, so what this is doing is simultaneously producing cooling and heating. The cooling used for the critical spaces like the galleries, the server rooms in the spaces. We're using the heat that's rejected from that for the radiant floor slab on the giant terrace space outside. Uh, so this is the Dolby Deck. It's a large outdoor terrace covered with a glass dome. The entire terrace is exposed to the elements. So the dilemma as an engineer who wants to be sustainable is how do you condition an outdoor space without just wasting energy. The terrace below is uh, one large radiant floor slab which can be used in heating or in cooling. And before I took you to see the heat recovery chiller in the other building, we're capturing that rejected heat from that chiller and we're using that over in the radiant floor. So in a nighttime event or an evening event where you've got people outside wanting to keep warm, we're pushing that heat into the radiant floor slab and providing some level of conditioning. We're in the Geffen Theatre and we're taking the, a displacement ventilation approach to conditioning. This is where all the seats are going to be. Underneath here is a large air plenum. We're going to be supplying air at low velocity. So the nice thing about a displacement ventilation system in a space as large as this is you're really only cooling or conditioning the occupied zone. You're not conditioning the entire volume of the space. So you, you have a stratification effect in a space like this where we're supplying that cool air at low level. It's finding the heat source rising to above. The air is stratified through the space and you're exhausting that warm air from high level. First of all, you have the linear slot diffusers. There's a series of big acoustic plenums to dampen the noise of any mechanical equipment. The rules were driven by acoustical criteria. I, I started in Bureau Hapold um, at the very beginning of 2011, fresh out of university. But I joined Bureau Hapold with like an obvious desire for engineering. So have been working in LA and the US for about seven years, which has been an amazing experience. I expected to come out for a couple of months and I'm still here like seven years later working on this project, um, which is like, this project has spanned my whole working life in the States, which feels like a long time. Its complexity is in different areas. The complexity is in the amount of components that we're trying to bring together into one, one project. So there is all sorts of different types of spaces, different criteria. You've got theatre space, you've got workshop space, you've got gallery space. That adds so much complexity to the job. You've got, you've got so many different teams trying to work together. Yeah, that challenge is enjoyable. I mean, that's one of the best bits about the job is trying to pull all of those pieces together as part of the as part of engineering. Mm -hmm.